Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Troy and today we're going to be customising the Bullicon Envisage in GTA Online. <laughs> Rockstar have finally added the Hyundai Envision 74 concept to GT Online, the Bullicon Envisage, which you can see here. actually looks really good in orange. Um, I'm very happy that Rockstar have finally added this vehicle. We're going to be customising it in a second, but yes, it is based on the Hyundai Envision 74 concept in real life, if you didn't know already. Uh, we will be opening up all the doors, checking out the interior and stuff later on. Uh, but for now, let's take it up to the custom shop and see what kind of customization this thing has. And here we are in the custom shop with the new Envisage. Now, I believe in real life this thing is a hydrogen-powered vehicle. Um, I think it's um, hydrogen electric. So it has electric motors which drive the wheels and then it has a hydrogen fuel cell which keeps the batteries topped up. I think that's how it works. Now you can see in the back of this thing there are some massive fuel tanks in the back of there. Um, so it is fully electric in um, GT Online but I think those are supposed to be like the hydrogen fuel cells. Um, so they've tried to keep it as realistic as possible. Um, as close to the real life vehicle as they can. It looks very, very similar to the real life vehicle, I have to admit. But let's go ahead and customize it. Um, I think I'm going to try and build it kind of similar to the real life vehicle. So let's go ahead and put full armor on. Body trim options to start with. We have the stock body trim. We can go for carbon body trim, which I imagine changes all of the black parts to carbon. And then we have the forged carbon. Um, I'm just going to leave them stock because I'm not really seeing much difference. Brakes, we'll go for full race brakes. Then we can go for some canards. So we can add some little plastic canards on the side there. We got a carbon version of those and forged carbon. Not really a fan of any of those, so we're going to leave them off. Engine upgrades. Um, like I said, I think this thing does have an electric motor. But it would have been nice if we could have had some visual engine stuff. But yeah, that's been lacking a little bit in this DLC. Uh, fenders next. We have the stock fenders. We can go for trimmed fenders. So we can actually remove that little part down there. Uh, we've got plastic fenders. So that adds a little fender back, but in plastic. We can have carbon version of that and forged carbon. Um, I actually just like it how it is. It looks pretty good. Um, I don't think we're going to be changing many parts on this, apart from maybe the wheels and the colour options, but there we are. Uh, front bumpers. We've got the stock front bumper, we've got a plastic lip, and we've got secondary. The secondary at the moment is black. Um, I actually like it in the primary colour, and it doesn't actually change anything sort of visually, it just changes the colour. Um, I want that to be body coloured, so we're going to leave that. Hood accessories next. So we've got no hood accessories. We can go for some chrome pins. We can get some black angled pins. We've got these straight sort of plastic pins. We can go for some hood pins. We've got plastic fins. Okay, they're a bit unusual. We've got carbon version of those and forged carbon. Um, I think I'm going to go for the hood pins. Do we want them in plastic or do we want them metal? Um, I think we're going to go for them. Ooh. I think we'll go for the black straight ones like that. Um, then we've got actual hood options. So that was hood accessories. This is hood options. We've got the offset air intake. Now, I can't remember whether the real-life vehicle actually has something like this. Um, we've got the single vented hood. We've got the racing hood. 
which adds a big scoop down there. Okay. Uh, we've got the racing hood with the plastic, and we've got that with carbon. Then we've got the induction hood. Now, these are all very interesting because this thing is technically electric, so you wouldn't really need any of these hood scoops. Um, we've got the tuner hood. That actually looks quite good on this vehicle. Um, and then we've got the GT hood. That is insane. Um, not a fan of the offset intake. I, I think that's from the real-life vehicle. I think it does have that. This one looks quite good. The single vented hood. So we'll go with that. Um, even though I don't think it needs it. I don't know whether the whether it has a radiator or not. But we'll find out later on. I really don't know that much about sort of electric cars and hydrogen power and all that. Um, headlight options we'll check out when we go outside. Livery options. We've got the double white stripes. We got a black version of that as well. It does go onto the roof a little bit as well. We've got the tech white stripes, and we've got tech black stripes. Then we've got the tech bullock on stripes, which is like the actual um, real life vehicle. Um, does have this sort of like livery on it, um, especially on the back portion there. So that's quite cool. Then we've got the bullock on race. So you can build this into a race car if you want. We've got the Tribal. We've got Dense Drift. I quite like that. That's pretty cool. It does look a bit orange, uh, a bit strange with the orange, but I think with a different colour that could look quite cool. And then we've got the Itasha number one, uh, which does add that sort of livery bit at the top there. We might come back to livery at the end. I don't know whether I want to go for the tech bullock on stripes um i'm gonna paint this thing like like the real life vehicle so we're gonna go for like the sort of brushed metal kind of like delorean look um i don't know if the livery's gonna look right with that so we'll come back to that at the end plate options we can go ahead and change the plate does it have a front plate no it doesn't actually so that's quite good um we've got a little back plate there it does have quite a big diffuser as standard. Be nice if we could have changed that. Unfortunately not. But the real life vehicle does have this massive diffuser. Uh, respray we will come back to. Roof options next. We've got the stock roof. We can go for our primary roof. So this is sort of the louvers on the back. So we can match that into the primary colour if you want to. We can go for that in carbon. And we can have that in forged carbon as well. Um, I'm just going to leave it stock because I think that actually looks quite cool. This is one of those vehicles that looks good with louvers. I think like the DeLorean, Lotuses, they look quite good with louvers. Some like Ferraris and stuff. And this is kind of... It's a little bit of a um, DeLorean-esque vehicle. When it came out um, in real life. It was kind of a throwback to DeLorean, in my opinion, anyway. Um, splitter options next. We've got the stock splitter. We can go for a carbon lip. I can't even see where that is. I can't see what that's changing. We've got the forged carbon lip. Oh, it is the actual lip that's already there, but it's just changing it. Okay. We've got the track lip, which adds the little strut mounts in. Some little wings on the side. We've got that in carbon and in forged carbon. I'm just going to leave that standard. It does have wings on the side as standard, but they're just a little bit smaller. Now, the spoiler, um, the real-life vehicle does have a spoiler like this. But you can go ahead and remove it. Uh, you can add the ducktail spoiler. You can go for a track wing. We've got the Mark II track wing. We've got a tuner wing. Oh, my days. Sort of like a uh, Ferrari F40 kind of wing. Or like a Superbird. Doesn't really look right on this car, I have to admit. We've got the downforce kit, so that adds a massive lip and the spoiler. We've got the Street SPL wing. We've got the Race wing, which had some like strut mounts in. The Circuit Master chassis mounted wing. And the... Oh my days! <laughs> That is absolutely massive. 
we've got the Extreme Performance Wing. Um, yeah, I think that is officially the biggest wing in GTA now. I don't think there's ever been a bigger spoiler than that. I don't think there's ever been a bigger spoiler than that in real life. That is absolutely insane. Um, I'm going to leave the stock one because as massive as as uh, as massive and as as impressive as that is, why can I not say that? It is also hideous, and I want to try and build this thing like the real life car. Sunstrip options. So we've got the plastic sunstrip, we can go for primary, we've got the white Fukaru, black Fukaru, we've got mine mach, we've got black mine mach, we've got the white power metal, and we've got the black power metal. Um, I'm just going to leave those off. I'm not really a huge fan of sunstrips, to be honest. Uh, suspension. Let's see what kind of drop we get. Not a whole bunch, to be honest, and I'm pretty happy with the ride height standard so we'll just leave that how it is the wheels are pretty cool and they're kind of similar to the real life vehicles um the real life vehicle wheels it's a shame that we can't paint them but i know that if we go i think into track there are some kind of similar wheels to those uh let's have a little look through here normally i just sort of skip me looking at wheels because you've all seen the wheel categories before um but yeah some of these are kind of similar if we go down here something like this kind of similar but i like the sort of low profile look of these they are unique to this vehicle so i'm gonna leave those i think that's the first time in these dlc customizations that we've left the stock wheels so far uh, we'll put the bulletproof tyres on and we'll go for a little bit of light smoke window tint. And now we're going to go ahead and paint this thing um, in one of the metal colours. We don't often paint the cars like this. So we've got brushed steel, we've got the brushed black steel and we've got brushed aluminium and we've got the gold and the brushed gold. Um, the real life car, I think, is sort of like this brushed aluminium, similar to the DeLorean. So we'll go ahead and paint it that colour. Uh, let's see what the secondary colour actually changes. So it just changes the front portion there. Um, the little area underneath the lights, it changes that back portion as well. And does it change it? Oh, there you get a better look at those tanks in the back as well. We'll have a look when we open the doors up. The interior is pretty cool. Big drift oh, handle gosh. there. Uh, it doesn't appear to change anything on the interior. Uh, so I guess we could maybe leave that black. Although, let's have a little look what it does look like if we match that in. Um, that looks kind of good. Um... Oh, I don't know. I think we might actually just go for a matte black. If you can think it, yeah, I, I think a matte black looked look quite good. Because um, I don't really want to go for carbon, I don't think. But I think the matte black will look quite good. And there we go. That is the thing fully customised. Um, I've tried to make it look kind of like the real vehicle. Oh, let's have a quick look what that livery actually looks like now that we've finished. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. I like the bit on the top because that's kind of like the real vehicle. The bits on the side, I'm not that keen on. They look a bit odd, so we're just going to leave it like this. Um, but let's go ahead and take it outside, see what kind of performance it has, and uh, we'll open up all the doors and stuff, have a little look at those tanks in the back. Here we go, we're back onto the sort of main road here, let's take it up the main sort of vinewood strip here, and you can see what kind of speed this thing has. Oh, bump the back of that mini, but yeah, it is pretty fast, it takes off really, really well. Obviously, it is electric, and that's the whole thing with electric cars. They have instant torque, so they can accelerate really quick. And this thing certainly does that. 
It is in the sports category. So I don't think it's going to be the fastest. I'm just battering minis today. It isn't going to be the fastest sports car. But it's certainly the coolest electric car. And it's about time that they added this thing to the game. Uh, the Envision 74 concept's been out for quite a few years now. I think it came out in 2021, 2022. So it's been out for a while. Let's park up here and open up all the doors. Okay, here we go with all the doors open. So we can get a better look at the interior. Um, it has a really cool sort of like race car interior. It's got that massive hydraulic handbrake in there. Uh, for drifting and all the little toggle switches and stuff. It's got these really hard um, carbon fiber bucket seats with the harnesses. So I like the interior. It looks very cool. And in the back we get a better look at those sort of hydrogen fuel cells in the back of there. So that's quite cool. That's a nice little detail that Rockstar have added there. And we can't actually see what's under the front. I'm not sure if that's because I applied these little hood pins. Maybe if we hadn't applied those, we could open the front. I'm not sure. Um, that is something you guys could let me know in the comment section if you've gone ahead and bought this thing. All right, so let's check out the headlights. Here we go. Oh, that is quite cool. When you turn the headlights on, they sort of like a warm up, which is really, really cool. Um, let's have a little look at the tail lights, what they look like. They're kind of cool. It has those little um, lights down the bottom there. And you can see like the brake lights and stuff. That's pretty cool. And the reverse lights, of course, are just sort of below there. So, yes, it's a very, very nice car. Um, the uh, Bullicon Envisage, or the Hyundai Envision 74 concept, is now in GTA Online. I'm very, very happy that Rockstar added this. They've just added this car to Forza Horizon 5 as well, which is kind of interesting that they both sort of got added at the same time in two sort of car games. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be buying the Bullicon Envisage in GTA Online? I certainly am. Um, I love the real life car and I love that they've added it to GTA Online, but I'm sure there's probably a lot of you out there that don't like this thing. I probably think it's hideous and pointless and probably don't like it because it's electric as well i'm not a huge fan of electric cars but i love this car i think it's so cool and uh, that's going to do it for this video if you did like the video a like would be appreciated and if you don't want to miss any of the latest customization videos we're going to be customizing all the drip feed vehicles in the next few weeks and months then make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other customization videos we've done in the past if you haven't seen those already. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.